With the new school year just weeks away, many states are scrambling to fill all their positions. Arizona reports it's desperately in need of another 2,000 teachers. Similar story in Kansas. They're short about 1,400 staff statewide. And in Florida, school officials warn they're in crisis mode. There are roughly 9,000 jobs there still open. Teachers' unions blame several factors, including low pay and burnout. But schools are going to great lengths to make sure that as students return to classrooms this fall, somebody will be there to teach them. Districts in Texas, for example, switching to four-day four school weeks. Arizona allowing college students to instruct kids. And CBC's Perry Russell reports Florida is calling on veterans with no teaching experience at all to step in for another round of duty, this time in the classroom. Here in Miami-Dade, we have probably almost 300 vacancies. With a week to go until classes start in Miami, Carla Hernandez, Matt says they need teachers. Is the talent pool there to fill the vacancies? I don't think so. Hernandez Matz is the president of United Teachers of Dade, one of the largest teachers unions in the region. She says low wages, the rise in school shootings, and the politicizing of the classroom is driving teachers away in the state. Newly published data from the National Education Association shows teachers in Florida make on average $51,000 a year, fourth lowest in the country, and $14,000 below the national average. Teachers didn't get into this uh, profession to live in the penthouse, you know, but we also didn't get into this profession to live in the poorhouse. Across the country, school districts are recruiting to fill the nationwide shortage. We just don't see this getting better. In Alabama, the state is lowering the requirements to get a teaching certificate. We want to get highly qualified teachers in every school. One school district in Louisiana is offering a hiring bonus of $7,500. We want to be very competitive, so um, a teacher chooses us. North Carolina is considering fixing its shortage by basing teachers' pay on how students perform, not their years of classroom experience. It sends the message that we as educators are not doing enough. Florida now turning to military veterans to lead classrooms. It'd be something I consider. It's a nice idea. The program gives a five-year teaching voucher to veterans who have not yet earned a bachelor's degree. They have to have a minimum of four years of active duty, 60 college credits, and at least a 2.5 GPA. They have to pass a test and are assigned a teaching mentor. You had the head of the teachers union in Sarasota criticize it, saying, well, you just can't throw any warm body in the classroom. Well, I'll tell you something. People that have served our country are not just some warm body. Hernandez Matz calls the plan disrespectful. I have a brother that's a Marine or that was a Marine and I know that he's not ready to step into my shoes and be a teacher just like I'm not ready to step into his shoes and be on the front line. Here in Miami-Dade County, Hernandez Matt says somebody will be in the classroom with these students. One idea they're looking at is having school administrators act as teachers. These schools also have different coaches for reading and writing. Hernandez Matt says they too will be stepping in for the teachers.